God is watching. It's just kind of easier for some of us older folk. I'm not talking about you, Lance. Certainly not talking about about you, Kim. But some of us others that are a little... That's not what I said. Hey. Uh, My goodness, we can just go straight to the altar call right now, can't we? Never had a live microphone stand before. It's good. I tell you what, you people, y'all don't know how to work in a business meeting. Brisket on the smoker. Campfire, right? Pumpkin pecan waffles. Where, where my where my Bath and Body Works people like my house smells like my my wife loves that stuff. All right, it's all over the place. All right, on the this place is going to rock and roll <laughs> for Jesus. <laughs> Hello, frogs in Egypt. words of a very famous person by the name of Ric Flair. Let me say, whoa! Olivet Nazarene. These words are hard, y'all. And God is sitting on the throne and God's doing God things. I don't know what that is. Is this this interesting to anybody? Get out of here and have a good day. Thank you to all the administration and staff for bringing me in. And though y'all almost kicked me out a bunch of times when I was here. I made it, baby. Something happened. Wait, in his hand, it was. Come on now. Something happened. But sometimes just a little brokenness makes us feel like we aren't valuable enough to be used. purpose. He has a calling and a destiny on your life. No matter what your degree plan is, he has a calling for you. Don't waste these four years going through the motions. It wasn't grandmom that led you here. It was God Almighty that led you into this campus. is not based, it's not connected or tied to what people think of you or how they approve or accept you. I've learned this. My worth was established a long time ago when Jesus gave his life for me. can do what God wants you to do right here on this campus, in this community, in this state, and you can change the world.